Hi, Periton Weather Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, May 10th. Still plenty of cold air around the nation for this time of the year. Yesterday there was a chilly rain event in much of the Mid-Atlantic region. In fact, it was cold enough for some snowflakes upstate Pennsylvania all the way to the Ohio Valley and really all the way back to the upper part of the Midwest. Today there will be significant snow in part of the Rocky Mountains, especially in the Colorado Rockies all the way to Wyoming. Any of those mountains over 7,500 feet in and around the Denver area, just to the west, for example, could get a foot of snow. A foot of snow possible later today and tonight in the Rocky Mountain National Park, for example. This chilly weather pattern across much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation is not done yet. It looks like cooler than normal conditions for much of this week, stretching again from the Rocky Mountains all the way to the eastern Seaboard. Let's take a look at the latest radar map from, map from WSI's and telecast.com. And just take a look at some of the blues here showing up south of James Bay. Snow. Some snow mixed in right now across the upper part of the Midwest. And again, this is the, the, the big accumulating event today across the Colorado Rockies and those areas to the west of Denver and northwest of Denver, for example, above 7,500 feet, including the Rocky Mountain National Park. Heavy wet snow, possible up to a foot or more in some of those areas, and it can snow all the way up to Wyoming and Idaho. Still a very, very chilly weather pattern as we move closer towards the middle part of the month of May. Well, let's focus in on these temperatures, these kind of strange chilly temperatures for this time of the year. This is the 850 millibar temperature anomaly forecast map for early today, Monday morning from last night's operational run of the GFS. All of this area in purple and blue representing below normal temperatures for this time of the year. And again, it stretches all the way really across the nation, almost from coast to coast, when, uh, across the northern half of the nation here from the west coast and the Pacific Northwest certainly across the eastern two-thirds of the nation some significantly colder than normal air for this time of the year. Now let's move forward here and we'll see it does not go away anytime too soon. Certainly much of this week substantially below normal. Look at this in the Rocky Mountains by later tomorrow. This is a Tuesday evening forecast map. Some 20 plus degrees below normal uh, as we approach the middle part of May. Again really stretching from the Rockies uh, to the New England coastline, and again, it does not go away anytime soon. Here we are now into the end of this work week, still below normal across much of the eastern half of the nation. There's some warmer than normal conditions showing up in the uh, western part of the nation here, but then we move forward here, and we still see some cold air outbreaks showing up on the map. This is now a week from now, really the uh, early part of Tuesday next week, Another colder than normal shot and still hanging on over New England, colder than normal conditions. And it just continues off and on right into the uh, latter part of the month of May. And here we are now all the way out to uh, around May 21st, May 22nd time period. Still substantially below normal across much of the nation going into the second half of the month of May. Well, not surprisingly, there's a lot of upper-level troughiness associated with these colder-than-normal conditions. Here we are starting this new work week, Monday morning, May 10th, deep upper-level low over the southeastern part of Canada, just south of Hudson Bay, and it kind of stretches, elongated, all the way out to the Rocky Mountain states, and again, significant snow later today into tonight from the, some of those higher elevations in the Rockies, the Colorado Rockies, all the way up to Wyoming and Idaho. And there is a time period coming up here where, where, where we have a ridge that builds into the east, but it's quickly followed by another deep upper level low. So we'll see here. Moving forward here with 500 millibar height anomaly forecast maps. Again, some upper level low kind of elongated all the way back into the Midwest by the end of this work week. We're now into the Thursday, Friday time frame and continuing here in the uh, Mid-Atlantic region. But... A little bit of ridging showing up over the Rockies by this upcoming weekend, but watch what happens as we move forward here. In another deep upper level low showing up over the southwestern states, and we'll see here this ridge won't last all that long. This is a week from now, looking at late Monday, early Tuesday of next week. Some ridging here popping up across the northeast, but watch what happens 
there'll be another deep upper level low that just kind of sits and spins right here over the uh, eastern half of the nation now. We're all the way out to May 21st, May 22nd time frame. Another upper level feature here uh, uh, below normal heights across much of the interior west as well. So again, not ending anytime soon. This cooler than no normal a weather pattern that we've been kind of stuck in across much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation. Well, let's take a look at the surface forecast maps, and this will turn out to be relatively dry week in the mid-Atlantic region after quite an unsettled period over the last several days. Can be a shower or two today, but for the most part, it'll be cooler than normal, but also rain-free uh, for the next several days in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City uh, corridor here in the mid-Atlantic region. Again, blue represents snowfall here just south of Hudson Bay and, of course, over the Colorado Rockies all the way up to those higher elevations in Wyoming. Let's move forward here. A significant snow event. Places like Rocky Mountain National Park, again, a foot or more possible the next 24 hours or so. This is a chilly air mass. Well, we've talked about the thickness line represented here by a 540 thickness line, the blue dash line here. That's chilly air for this time of the year all the way down into the mid-Atlantic region. This is the Tuesday morning forecast map. This chilly air mass anchored by a Canadian high dropping into the upper part of the Midwest. A couple of scattered showers possible in the mid-Atlantic region, but again, for the most part, a rain-free uh, next several days here. Move forward here, that Canadian high takes over, takes control here. This is by Thursday morning, really situated over the upper part of the Midwest and dominating the weather scene with chilly, but generally dry weather across uh, the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Mid-Atlantic, the Northeast, all the way down into the southeastern part of the nation. And with this cold air kind of dominating the scene uh, in uh, the Midwest, even into the southern states, it really reduces the chance for severe weather, which is a, a positive benefit, of course. Here we have a much reduced chance of severe weather this week in the deep south because that cold air is just kind of overwhelming the pattern going all the way down into the southern states here. Let's move forward here as we go into the upcoming weekend. Uh, pretty decent temperatures by the time we get to the weekend in the mid-Atlantic region. This is a Saturday morning forecast map. Certainly high temperatures by this time, Saturday, closer to normal, maybe still a little bit below normal, but certainly 70 degrees is on the table by the time we get to uh, Saturday, let's say, in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. But as we saw a moment or two ago, still some more chilly air outbreaks coming into the central and eastern U.S. over the next couple of weeks or so. That's it for now. For Paraton Weather, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.